In this video, I'm going to talk about the end. Hey, wait a minute. If I'm talking about the end, why am I talking about it at the beginning? Um, okay. In this video, I'm going to talk about the beginning of the end or the end of the beginning in the middle of the thing that needs to be here. You know what? Just watch the video. You'll find out what I'm talking about. Hey, it's Tuesday. Time for another Prompt My Story video. I'm Marty Chan, kids author, storyteller, and playwright. And before I start, I want to say thank you to all the teachers and students who have come to my channel because of the virtual visits I've done at your schools. It's great to see so many people subscribing and I want to say thank you so much for joining the channel and using my videos as a resource. If you're not one of those teachers or students and you're wondering what exactly is this YouTube channel all about? Well, I am a writer who is offering some writing tips and story prompts so that students can become better writers and teachers can have a way to help motivate their students to write. So basically, it's a resource for anybody who wants to be a better writer. Now this video, because it's being shot, oh, I think there's about a week and a half of classes left in this school year. I thought since we're coming to the end of the school year, maybe this video should be about what happens when you come to the end of a story. You might have heard this word from your teachers, the climax, the most exciting part of your story. Now, sometimes people wonder, well, how do I build up a climax? My teacher told me the middle is all about creating problems or obstacles that make it hard for my character to get what they want. And maybe there's a problem that I try to solve, but things get complicated and other problems come in to compound the original problem. But each one of these problems is supposed to build up to the ultimate problem, the climax, except how is that different from the very first problem that I have? How do I know that I have a climax? Well, the best way for me to explain it is to use a metaphor. I want you to think about a ladder, right? I, just a few weeks ago, had to go up to the roof of my house and clean out the gutter. So I had to bring out a step ladder so I could reach the gutter. Now, I am petrified of heights. So the idea of climbing to the top rung of the ladder freaks me out. But if you think about that ladder and having to climb up to the top, that's kind of like the structure of a story. Each rung that you step on, each time you go one step higher, you are moving the story to a more exciting part. But here's the thing. At any point when you're climbing that ladder, you can go back down. So with the story, if you've got a problem that you can back up from, you know that it's just a problem. It's not the climax. I know, I know some of you are jumping ahead and thinking, oh, I get it. When I get to the top rung, that's the climax. Well, no, because you can still go back down the ladder and start over. The climax is the point where your character can't go back. So if you get to the top rung, like I did, to clean out the gutter, a climax would be somebody knocks over the ladder and I have to grab onto the gutter to hang on to the roof of my house. Now I don't have a way to go back down and I'm in big trouble. That's what a climax is all about. Getting the character to a point where they can't go back down the route they took and they can only go forward. Now here's the thing. If they go forward and they are able to succeed, you get to the end of the story. If they fail, well, they have a lot to lose. In my case, I'd probably break a leg for falling off the roof. So with the climax, you want to get it to a point where the character, your hero, the protagonist, is in a place where if they fail, they lose a lot. Now, you could go with physical danger, so somebody could lose their life. If you look at any action-adventure movie, any superhero movie, when you get to the climax, it's a life-or-death situation. 
But that's not the only kind of climax there is. You can also go with emotional jeopardy, where if they lose, they could be humiliated and they can't rebound from that. So if you can build up to a climax that either has physical danger or emotional jeopardy, then you know that if the character loses, they lose either their life or their self-esteem. When you get to that point, you know you're at the climax. And if you want to take it to another level, try to make sure that both your physical jeopardy or danger is paired up with your emotional jeopardy. If you can have those two climaxes merged into one moment, then you've got a great and exciting story. Let's see if you can put that into action. I'm going to give you this week's story prompt, but I want you to think about how you could build it up to that climax where you have no idea how the hero is going to get out of the problem they're in. Okay, so here is this week's story prompt. And there you have it. Play around with that story prompt. See what you can come up with. In the meantime, thanks for checking out the YouTube channel. I may be changing my schedule a little bit as we're moving into the summer. I'm going to see if I can come up with material to come up with a new video every week, but I might dial things back to once every two weeks because summer is so short in Alberta and I want to enjoy some sun while it's there. And I hope that you also enjoy some sun this summer because, hey, it's been a long year for all of us and we all deserve a little bit of a break. All right, take care. Have a great summer if I don't see you for a little bit and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.